Do you know God loves us so much? It's impossible to understand the love He has for us. His love is so grand and awesome. It is beyond anything you can possibly imagine. The Bible best describes it as a love a bridegroom has for his bride. Everything about us is beautiful and perfect. But when we committed sin, God couldn't hold us, hug us, or be with us. But instead of leaving us to die in our sin, God had a plan to cure us of our sin. But until the fullness of time came, God wanted to meet with us. Remember Moses? He is the one who led the Israelites, God's chosen people, out of Egypt and slavery. While Moses and the people wandered in the desert, Moses was called to Mount Sinai by God. And there Moses received special laws from God. Laws like the Ten Commandments, but also hundreds and hundreds more. Laws to help us remember who God is and teach us our duty to Him. And even laws about how to build a tent. A tent where God can finally meet with His people. Moses obeyed and built the tent of meeting, also called the tabernacle. And a great cloud covered the tent, and the glory of God filled the tabernacle. Then the Lord called Moses and spoke to him from the tent of meeting with instructions to tell the people, instructions on how they can dwell with God. So how can a holy God dwell with an unholy people? To remove the ungodliness of sin, a price must be paid. And since sin is death, the only payment is life. And without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. And to be near God required sacrifices. And the most common sacrifice was a burnt offering, where the whole animal is burnt by fire and offered up to God. A total surrender to God. The offering was to be a male bull, sheep, goat, or bird. Whatever a person can afford the most, and the sacrifice needed to be perfect in every way. The offerer laid his hands upon the animal, identifying with it, identifying his sins with the animal. This animal that is to be killed, you will bear what I deserve. You will be my substitute. Thus, when the animal was slain, it died for the sins of the offerer. Sacrifices were hard, messy, gross, and tiresome, but necessary. These sacrifices were a covenant of a promise, because the whole of the Old Testament points towards the one great sacrifice that was to come. And God's people held on with faith every single day, with the burning fire never allowed to go out over and over for hundreds and hundreds of years because no animal can be perfect enough to erase sin forever until a time would finally come a prophet named john points to his relative and says behold the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world he is here he has finally come. As we lay our hands on Jesus, He dies in our place. We deserve the shame and punishment He received. And as Jesus commits His Spirit into His Father's hand, the Father breathes in deep. And the sacrifice is a pleasing aroma, a fragrant offering. You and I are accepted because of atonement, because of the spotless male without blemish, the perfect lamb who shed his blood for our forgiveness. 
He entered once for all into the holy places, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. So let us offer ourselves as a whole offering to God, to give our all, to love and obey the Lord our God with all our hearts, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. And we can finally join in with the dance of eternal love between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Because God did not create us because He needed love, but because He wanted to share His love. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so your God rejoices over you. Thank you, Jesus!